Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to misuse Quarkus to write system or black box tests. And as an example application, I would like to use Mockend, which is a utility. So the name is, um, this is the mock, backend mock for frontend. So I use this to test my web component apps, my frontends. And because it's also a microservice, it ships with two modules. Mockend is the, mockend is the actual implementation, um, Quarkus implementation, the Mockend SD. I, try, I, I, I want it to be minimalistic in this case. I just use Java 11, so there is no Quarkus involved. And today, I would like to show you the benefits of using Quarkus instead of plain Java 11. So um, yeah, this is plain Java 11, and to um, to speed up the screencast, I would like to steal some code. And um, so where is it? Uh, here, get. So let's pick some get, should be enough. And now first, what I will have to do is, I will have to use or to start the mockend. Let's start it. And I also need a project. So let's create a Quarkus project with the group ID air hacks, the name of the application, let's call it testing. And uh, yeah, rest easy, yes, because uh, then it will generate the uh, the tests for me. So let's open this with an editor. Here it is. And as promised uh, today, I'm not interested in the, uh, the Java functionality or the uh, production production folder so I'm only would like to write the tests and the tests they are actually two test classes one is the native is out of scope so let's uh, delete that and this we could actually reuse what we don't we have Java 11 we have micro profile client and we have JaxRS client so we don't need another dependency here so just delete that and also we can clean up maven now a bit so what I don't need I don't need the Rest assured, and we don't need even rest easy, so because we only will focus on tests. So now uh, let's copy this code. And uh, what do I need is the URI and how to get the URI. So we need the URI, and um, so let's take a look at the um, at the terminal. Where is the mockend here? And it prints at least some test URIs. So let's pick that and um, execute this here. And what I just would like to do is to provide this minus i, which will print here the headers. And let's double check whether it's actually working. It is working. So we have the URI. So um, now, because we have Quarkus test, we can use injection. So the first benefit is I will just use stock micro profile um, config and uh, what I uh, using here is the full URI. Usually in projects, I separate that so I have the you know the uh, this is what usually gets configured and this is always always stable or at least is not environment dependent. And um, now what I can do is I can just inject that. So in micro profile, I have to use inject. In Quarkus, I could skip that, but let's do it. Config property. We need the config property. And the name was name is service URI. There is no default because in case it doesn't work, I would like to uh, fail fast and uh, inject. Well, inject, and we need now the URI. URI, URI. Okay, looks good. So import the URI, and now I have the URI. And what I would like also to do is to to print out the URI. And let's say the URI, this is the URI. So, okay, now uh, a little bit, or what do we need now is some imports, this and the body handlers. And then, of course, uh, we need a client. So, HTTP client, there is nothing to configure. We can say new HTTP client var client, and the client could be kept. Uh, usually in before, so we don't have to create to recreate a client over and over again. For, for now, it's okay. So exceptions are thrown, and what we also need is the body. Body. So the nice thing is, what I'm writing here is a uh, micro profile REST client, so I can just copy and paste this, and I have a working client. So I will actually save the time. And the same code is reused in stress test as well. So I have the body, 
let's say body and just print out the body so body body okay so let's uh, take a look so now i could already start a test with maven uh, compile corcus dev in dev mode and this is the unusual thing and now uh, it compiles the test and um, i would like to run the test and they are already successful i will also with o show the output and let's see if i change here something it will rerun the test for me and you can see the URI is this, and I got the uh, this message, so it seems to work. So now I can live reload this, and let's see what happens when I, for instance, misspell that. And uh, as you can see, details error, um, I get a, a something back, which broke the code. So just go back, and now it's fix fixed. So actually, it's not a misuse of Quarkus, um, it is a perfect way to use more uh, Quarkus um, as a system test driver because I can uh, continuously write tests and what's actually tested t um, uh, is a project in a different module which makes me more productive and I can use the same module in CI/CD pipeline with, uh, with a different uh, host or prefix. So thank you for watching, see you at upcoming conferences, AirHacks Live or even in projects. Thank you and bye.